Hello everybody, welcome to Mr. with PJ. Today's date, December 16, 2016. Our word for discussion is banquet. In 1 Kings 3.15, Then Solomon woke up and realized it had been a dream. He returned to Jerusalem and went into the tabernacle. And as he stood before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, he sacrificed burnt offerings and peace offerings. Then he invited all of his officials to the great banquet. Isaiah 21.5, Look, they are preparing a great banquet. They load the tables with food. They pull up their chairs to eat. Quick, quick, grab your shields and prepare for battle. You are being attacked. Ezekiel 39.20, Feast at a banquet table. Feast on horses, riders, valiant warriors, says the Lord God. Matthew 22.10 So the servants did and brought in all they could find, good and bad alike. And the banquet hall was filled with guests. In John 12.2 A banquet was prepared in Jesus' honor. Martha served and Lazarus sat at the table with him. Revelations 19.7 let us be glad and rejoice and honor him, for the time has come for the wedding banquet of the Lamb, and his bride has prepared herself. To find this is an elaborate or formal evening meal for many people, often followed by speeches. It's also considered a celebration and a feast. In the last days, we're invited to a great feast of the bridegroom and the Lamb Jesus Christ. When a rich man had a banquet, he couldn't get people to attend, so he invited the poor as his guests. Mary and Martha prepared a banquet for Jesus many times. Solomon had many great banquets during his lifetime. Won't you think about this today? Have a blessed day.